the government will lay out a definite and time bound action plan to implement other guarantees promised in the poll manifesto such as mahalakshmi scheme raitu barosa guruha jyoti indrama houses yuva vikasam and cheyito cheyita within 100 days of its governance the government is dedicated to implement each and every promise it made in the party manifesto and the government will stand by it the government is making this promise through this house as a witness let me inform people through this house that the administration is actively preparing an action plan based on the promises made in the poll manifesto we are assuring people in the state that we will implement the varangal declaration made for farmers the hyderabad yuva declaration made for youth the sc and st declaration announced in chevella and the bc declaration promised in kama reddy and its letter and spirit in its letter and spirit very soon as promised we will identify the families of martyrs allot them 250 square yards of the houses sites and also pay them a honorarium our government is committed to provide quality uninterrupted power supply to the agriculture sector as promised in the declaration we will give a minimum support price for each and every crop there will be an action plan to waive the farm loans to the tune of rupees 2 lakhs as promised during the elections we will take up an action plan to give patas to the assigned lands and podo lands we have promised people that we will order an inquiry into the irregularities committed and lack of quality and corruption in the construction of the medigatta medigatta and annaram barrages of kalishwaram project our action plan will be in this direction the government is committed to protecting and getting telangana states rightful share of krishna river water our aim is to get national status for the palamuru ranga reddy irrigation project which is a boon to south telangana our government has decided to complete the project and make palamuru nalgonda and ranga reddy districts into a fertile districts our government's aim is to complete the dr b r ambedkar paramita chavella project started in the previous congress regime and provide irrigation water to the upper region of the adilabad and other districts we will implement we will implement each and every promise we have made to the youth we will fill up the teachers post by conducting the mega dsc within the 6 months we are happy to inform you that the government has already begun the exercise to clean up the tspsc we will take steps to fill up 2 lakh vacancies within one year our government will soon be launching an action plan to provide house sites to the homeless and give rupees 5 lakh financial assistance for the construction of houses under the indrama housing scheme under this scheme scs and sts will get 1 lakh additional amount my government has observed that a majority of the complaints received under prajawani are land related this is the reason why during the elections we have promised that we will replace darani portal and its place the bhumata portal which will be introduced which will be transparent and solve all land related issues i am happy to inform you that very soon an action plan will be put in place in this regard we will constitute a land commission to protect government lands the poor will be given rights to the 25 lakh acres of land distributed by the previous congress government as part of the land reform program my government has decided to take stringent measures against the use of banned drugs and narcotics in the state and to totally eradicate them the government is very keen to totally eradicate the narcotic drug menace like the elite and exclusively greyhounds and the octopus a full time director is appointed to the telangana state anti narcotic bureau my government's action plan started is not just to control the drug ma- mafia but to totally eradicate them in telangana state there should be no mention or of or talk about the banned drugs the government is very serious about the matter as it is harming the youth 
and destroying their career and future. I am making it very clear from the house that no one will be spared if they are accused in the drug case. Hyderabad is not only a capital for Telangana state, but also a perennial revenue resource that generates income for the welfare and development of the poorer sections of society. Hyderabad got this financial strength because of the previous Congress-led governments which developed it to reach this goal. For information technology to Metro Rail, Shamshabad International Airport to ORR and the entire world-class infrastructure was planned and developed during the Congress governments. Hyderabad's topography would have undergone a sea change had it its ITIR project and announced by the then UPA government. In 2013, Came, came into being. My government is now trying to bring back this past glory. We have launched an action plan to clean up the Musi River and turn its catchment area into an en employment generation zone. Our government's aim is to develop the city in all directions. My government is committed to decentralizing of development in Telangana state. The government is planning to divide the state into three zones with Hyderabad as the center, one zone in Hyderabad city which is inside the outer ring road and the second zone in the area between the ORR and the proposed regional ring road and the third zone is outside the regional ring road. Our government will prepare plans accordingly.